Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL entry is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLV Prasad, I am a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by uh, by explaining you all the various questions asked for SQL interview rounds, which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions asked in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard. Depending upon the complexity of the question, the premium level subscription questions of LeetCode as premium playlist questions and all the questions ordered by the sequence number says uh, all order questions. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. It is question number 1555 type medium bank account summary. Let's see the question. They have given a table user. A user is there, his name and what is his current credit. Okay. And now what they have given? They have given their transaction of each customer whom has paid to anyone. Okay. Lead code bank helps its coders to make virtual payments. Our bank records all transactions in the table transaction. We want to find out the current balance of all users and check whether they have breached their credit limit. If their credit is less than okay, zero, write an SQL query report the all the things. Okay, we need to breach other. If it is breached, we should say yes. If not, we should say no. Okay, let's see this table. Okay, let's see. Credit breach means if it is less than zero, it is breached. If it's not, it is not breached as mentioned here. Only if it's less than zero is breached. So let's say that initially Mustafa has 100 rupees. Okay, now what? Let's see this paid table. Okay, Mustafa has paid one someone he paid 400 rupees okay initially has 100 rupees afterwards he has paid someone 400 rupees okay after that and uh, okay this is the paid thing similarly for 2 he has initially 200 balance similarly for 3 he has 10000 rupees balance similarly for 4 800 rupees balance similarly for 2 2 has paid someone 200 rupees right so he paid 200 rupees similarly if you can see 2 this is 3 3 has paid someone 500 rupees okay if you pay someone the balance will be cut out from your account so I'm keeping minus 4 didn't has paid anyone okay now what happened now this is paid to means someone has paid them so money is adding to them for 3 someone has paid 400 someone has paid him 400 and uh, for 2 someone has paid him 500 for 1 someone has paid them 200 ok so what is the final balance minus 100 as you can see minus 100 what is the final balance 500 what is the final balance minus 190 okay it will be 9900 here you can see similarly 800 okay how many rows are less than 0 only one so you can keep a case 1 statement if it is less than 0 yes if not no so the final thing here is to get this thing now how we can get this summation of these two things we need to add what we need to add credit column paid column and this something column now the trick to get is we will do a left join to this table so that whenever it is matching we can match this table and this table using user ID and paid by then we can get the amount someone has paid by similarly we need to do one more inner join and we need to keep user id and paid to then we will get how much they paid and how much they got paid let's see it okay 
select from let's see this mm. or we can do by one more method it is better way let's do one more thing let's create a CT table such that we will group by paid by and we will calculate the sum of amount then how much each of them paid we will be getting similarly one more table we will do paid to by grouping and we will calculate the sum of amount let's do that first of all select from transactions group by paid by comma sum of amount as total paid by total paid by See, one got 400, similarly 500, 200. Let's call it as with CTE1. Similarly, we will calculate the paid to select paid to comma sum of amount as total paid to from transactions we are just grouping by paid to so, so now we have all the details of paid by sum of amount and paid to sum of amount. what we will do we will join these two tables this user table ct1 and ct2 select all from users table we will do left join because if any unmatching rows also there it will be shown all the all the transactions are not there for all the customers for example 4 is not there then that customer details will be gone that's why I'm keeping left join left join ct1 sb on a dot user id equal to b dot paid by see you got the details of customer one similarly we can do what again left join ct2 c on same a dot user id is equal to c dot user id so it should be paid to not user id let's run it should be amount so now we got the whole table one two three four how much credit they have how whom they paid to what is the total sum of things and this one okay let's do one thing instead of select i will keep a dot star to keep all the a columns comma we don't want this paid by column so we want only total paid by. so i'll keep coalesc so that null will be gone coalesc b dot paid by comma zero so whenever it is null it will be gone something something t1 comma coalesc c dot paid to s zero let's call it c t2 
underscore okay it should be total paid to similarly total paid by not column names let's run it so now we have user ID username credit how much they got paid and how much they paid so let's call this table CT3 now from CT3 what I want select user ID comma username comma okay they are not asking for this credit they want some of this credit so what we'll keep uh, we'll keep credit minus t1 plus t2 as credit okay we got the credit now now what we want we need to keep a case when statement case when credit minus t1 plus t2 less than 0 then yes else no and as what is the name they said to give credit limit reached credit limit reach let's run it okay you should not be there okay it got it okay we got the answer but they need to be some okay it should be breached okay it got accepted let's submit it okay our solution has been accepted by the platform if you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are preparing for a data scientist or a data analyst interview. It will be of great help for you and them and it will also motivate me to do more videos. Thanks for watching. This is MLU Prasad.